did slam and it was a turn of the ITU series or world triathlon as it's now meant to be called and a restart of the Olympic qualifying races which is just Yokohama, just been and Leeds in a few weeks time. A few of the big names were missing, mostly those who were already qualified for Tokyo and didn't want to take the risk of travelling to Yokohama, however there was still a top field and some epic racing. Nib nabbed the win, I'm sure I'm not the first and won't be the last to use that phrase, maybe the last as it's not as good as I thought, but with that win books her ticket for Tokyo, leaving just one spot up for grabs for the ever-growing strength of Team USA women. Summer Rappaport, who secured her Olympic star at the Tokyo Test event back in 2019, finished second and Maya Kingman finished in third, picking her first WTS podium. It was a killer ride by Kingman and Nib off the bike, riding off the front of the chase pack early on and continued to pull away, entering T2 over two minutes ahead of the chasers. A solid run by Nib meant that the youngster took the title and is Tokyo bound. Rappaport ran up from the chase to catch and pass Kingma to finish second, Kingma holding on for that third spot. We head to Leeds with new dilemmas for Team USA, having to pick between Taylor Spivey, who finished fourth in Yokohama and has shown great form over the WTS and Super League, and Katie Zafiris, the 2019 world champion, who also showed great strength in the in the mixed relays of the last few years. With the British team already named, it was Sophie Coldwell off to off the back of her Super League Arena Games win, who came in as a top Brit in six, and a very awesome sight seeing non Stanford return to racing after several months of in an injury finishing seventh. For the Aussies, it was Natalie Van Koroverden in 18th and Emma Jackson in 22nd. 22nd? Yes. Next, next week, we are back to long course racing with the Ironman North American Champions. <laughs>